Hello, my name is Elise Katz and I'm a children's librarian and I'm here today to do a fun project that I hope you can do at home with your children. I call this project Spin Art and we are going to be using supplies that I hope you will have at home. We don't need a lot. The main thing or, that we're going to be using is a salad spinner. This is one that's many years old. We used to use them more frequently because salad and spinach didn't come pre-washed. But now we can buy our greens pre-washed and so you might want to dedicate this spinner to craft projects. It has a lid that you spin like that. There's a basket that we used to put the greens in with water and then the container that holds it all. And we're going to do our project on paper plates, just like that. And it doesn't matter what the decoration is because we are going to use the bottom side. So on the inside, I want you to put your child's name so that later they can find them. These are addictive. It's hard to do just one. Chances are your kids will want to do five or 10. The good part also is that you don't have to rinse a spinner after one of these. You can do maybe 20 or 10, depending on all you have to do is pour out the paint and start again. And then when you're all done, you wash off the container. You begin by placing the paper like that in your spinner. And now I have paints in front of me. These are washable tempera paints, sometimes called poster paints. The ones I have today have some glitter, which will be nice because it will give sort of a shiny glitter sheen to our finished product. But this is a very experimental craft. You can't control a lot, so you just have fun and experiment. You begin by squirting in all the different colors you want to use. And make sure you use light colors, dark colors, maybe complementary colors, and so on. And you can do some with two colors, and you can do with eight or five colors. Today, I'm trying all the colors. You can put the colors in the middle. You can put the colors on the sides and see what happens. Okay, I think I've done enough. I'm going to show you what this looks like. Okay, next part, we're almost done. You take the lid and you put it on securely. And if your children want to spin, make sure that you hold the container and the lid securely. And you just spin. doesn't take long at all. So let's see what we got. It's very good to have a pencil or something like that. And you lift it out and there is your artwork. Now I put red in, but for certain, and I put it around the edge, but I won't do that again because it didn't show up. So have a lot of fun, do lots of experiments, Remember to put someone's name at the bottom and play around. I'll show you some of our other ones that I have done this morning or this afternoon. There they are. So, tempera paints you can buy at a local craft store online. They're not expensive. They're washable. And paper plates you can get at the grocery store. And maybe you have a salad spinner sitting in your cabinets. So have a good time, keep busy, and I hope this works out well for you. Bye.